Okay, so I am actually really excited to talk about today's topic, which is going to be yellow gold. I have been thinking about this all week and I've been kind of trying to plan the things that I want to mention and everything that I want to explain. I got super excited. I put on all my gold rings and I did my nails for it last night. And as I was doing my nails in preparation for this video, I had kind of an idea for an analogy to explain gold content. So as I explained in my very first video, if you have a ring that's made of gold, on the inside, you'll see a stamp with a two digit number followed by the letter K. That stands for carat, spelled K-A-R-A-T. Carat means parts out of 24 that are gold. So if you have a ring that says 10K, that means that 10 parts out of 24 are gonna be pure gold. The other 14 parts in that ring or in those earrings or necklaces are gonna be those alloy metals that we talked about like zinc or copper or nickel and they're simply there to strengthen it. However, the content of the gold in your piece of jewelry can sometimes affect the color, but not always. So let me explain. I was doing my nails, and for any of you girls out there, you know that when you paint your nails, you have to do two or three coats of paint or of nail polish to really get that color all the way. And I realized that that's kind of the same thing with carrot content of gold. So I've got one fingernail here. I only did one coat and you can see there's some color there and it's got a little bit of a gold tone, but it's pretty pale in comparison to the rest. So the rest of my nails on this hand, I painted two or three coats of nail polish and you can see that they're gold and they're noticeably different from this 10 karat fingernail. So we'll pretend that these fingernails are 14 karat. Now I took some glitter that I had lying around as well because I thought that that would be a fun time. And I put a little bit of glitter on this fingernail to represent 18 karat gold. Now between these two, you can really see the difference. This one is noticeably golder than this fingernail is, but this one is still pretty gold, especially compared to the 10 karat. Now I took my middle finger and I just drenched it in glitter. And this is to represent 22 or 24 karat gold. I didn't have enough materials to differentiate between the two and they look basically the same. So you can even see between the 18 karat fingernail and the 22 karat fingernail, they're pretty different. And the 22 compared to the 14 or compared to the 10, when you're looking at them all together like that, there really is a big difference in color. I've got some rings here to also highlight that. I've got a ring from one of my great grandmothers that is in 10 karat gold. And I've got a ring from another one of my great grandmothers that is 14 karat. And if you hold them right up next to each other, there's not a whole lot of difference between the color. They look about the same. They look gold. They're not super deep or super vibrant, but they are very nice gold colors. Next to the 14 karat gold ring, I have one from the Middle East that is 22 karat gold. If you compare those two, you can see a massive difference between them. This one is really yellow, it's really deep, it's really vibrant. And to be honest, I think a lot of people would argue that it's the prettier color of the two rings. However, like when you paint your fingernails and you add a lot of glitter, you know that that glitter is gonna flake off a lot and it's gonna get everywhere. You know that this nail polish is not gonna last very long because it's just not very strong. The same goes for gold content. The higher the gold content in your jewelry, the softer that piece of jewelry is going to be. Because like I've said in previous videos, gold is just really soft and really malleable. And so if you have some gold jewelry and you're wondering how you can best take care of it, here are the things that you should never, ever, 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 ever do. Never wear your ring or your necklace or your earrings in the shower. The water and the soap will react with those and they'll corrode the metal a little bit. With rings and earrings, especially as you're like washing your hair or moving around, grabbing like a loofah or a scrubby or whatever, you will bend that ring. You might not notice it, but you will. Same goes for dealing with fabric. Don't do your laundry, don't fold your clean laundry or make your bed with that jewelry on. Never wear necklaces or earrings or rings to bed because bed sheets are surprisingly really hard on jewelry. 
And so just turning around on your pillow and moving around under your sheets will mess with your jewelry. Don't ever wear your jewelry to work out. It could bend as you're grabbing something heavy or you know trying to do something strong. But more importantly, your sweat will react with the metal of your jewelry. And even if you don't think that you sweat at the gym, you do a little bit and your jewelry will notice. The most important one, I see people do this a lot over the summer is pool season. I see a lot of people hanging out at the pool and they don't take their jewelry off and it drives me nuts. Your jewelry is so beautiful. And the last thing I wanna do is tell people to not show it off, but chlorine damages gold so horribly. Chlorine is one of the worst chemicals you could expose your gold to. And so I see people with these beautiful engagement rings or really nice earrings or beautiful necklaces. They'll wear them in the pool or in the hot tub. And it's just so sad because I know what's going to happen and I know that they're going to go home and they're going to be disappointed. So if you have nice jewelry, if you have any jewelry really, that's gold or gold plated or gold colored, don't wear it in the pool. It will destroy your jewelry. You have this beautiful jewelry that you want to show off. You want it to look nice and you want to keep it nice because you just made a kind of big investment on that. You want to get your money's worth. And in order to get your money's worth, you have to know how to take care of your nice things or else they won't stay nice for very long. So if you buy gold jewelry especially, please just be so careful with it because everybody wants to see it. It's a beautiful piece and you're not going to want to wear it for very long if it doesn't look as beautiful as it did the day you bought it. So that's it for yellow gold specifically. Next week, I think I'm going to finish up talking about the gold materials and how to care for it, how to determine the price, and some other small questions that people may have about gold. If you have other questions or ideas for future videos, please put them in the comments below. Please tell all your friends to like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram for updates on upcoming videos and for more ideas about future suggestions. And I will be back next week.